This is a tutorial on displacement mapping and subdivision in Indigo. This is using Indigo standalone, but should apply to any of the plugins as well. Let's load up a texture. It's preferable to use 16 or 32 bit textures for smoother results. As you can see, nothing happened. But there's a few things we have to do in the texture editor first. The scale value is currently set to 1 mm. I would expect these rocks to be about 5 cm high, so let's use that for the displacement scale. Usually the gamma for bump or displacement textures should be set to 1. We also have a smooth option, which is useful for when you have 8-bit textures and you want indigo to smooth them out for higher quality displacement. Let's render again. We've managed to move the plane a few centimeters upwards. As if that wasn't impressive enough, we're now going to subdivide our single quad plane to add some detail to our displacement. We'll open the geometry settings for our plane. Enabling the shading normals option will give a smooth shading instead of solid shading with visible triangles. The number of subdivisions controls how many triangles our plane will be divided into. Obviously a value of 4 doesn't give enough detail, so let's crank it up to 10. As you can see, Indigo has now divided the plane into 2 million triangles, and there's plenty of detail. The subdivision smoothing option and the number of smoothings value controls by how many subdivisions Indigo will smooth the shape of our geometry. That's useful for cars and other organic shapes to avoid visible polygons, but we'll leave this off for this scene. You can also set a minimum curvature and minimum displacement error before any subdivision is performed. This allows Indigo to intelligently adapt the level of subdivision to the properties of the displacement map. Further down we have two more useful settings. The view dependent subdivision means that only the parts of the mesh inside the camera view is subdivided, which greatly can reduce the triangle count and thus the memory usage. The pixel threshold option means that Indigo will not subdivide triangles smaller than a certain amount of pixels in the view. This reduces subdivision detail further away from the camera, which can allow for good displacement mapping on very large areas. Note the reduced triangle count. Don't overuse it though, usually a value of about 2 pixels is good to preserve surface detail. There's one more fairly important thing to mention. Displacement moves the bright areas in the texture upwards, while the black areas don't move at all. This means that in total, the whole surface moves a bit. This can be adjusted using the offset parameter. If you want to keep the mean surface level the same, you need to offset the surface by about half of the scale value in the opposite direction. Thanks for watching.